it is like three o'clock and I'm about to go to the gym. Um, this is really early for me because I usually go to the gym around uh, eight or nine o'clock at night. Because it's not as busy then. But I thought I would go a little bit earlier to see how it is this early in the day, I guess, in the evening. Um, to see if it's like really busy and how how I feel um, because sometimes large crowded areas give me anxiety <laughs> it's true but um, I'm just gonna see how it is and then hopefully I can go for another night run because my shoes my uh, running shoes are coming today I'm very excited I'll show you guys when I get them but yeah I'm going to the gym I'm this is the first uh, I guess workout that will be focused on muscular endurance <laughs> which I mentioned in my fitness updates and favorite video link here <laughs> now I think I'm gonna focus more on muscular endurance because it will not only help me with um, things like ballet and Pilates and stuff but also running um, so I'm going to do buys and tries, I'm going to do bicep curls, um, overhead extensions, and I'm going to do me some back. <laughs> I'm going to do me some back today. I'm going to see if I can handle the assisted, um, fucking, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can handle that. Um, and yeah. But those are, those are the muscle groups that I want to focus on. It says on the article that I read that you should pick a weight that you can do 20 to 40 reps. So obviously a lighter weight with higher reps. Um, and then basically like a drop set. Once you do that, then you drop the weight down. About It says about halfway. And then burn out your muscles doing that. Um, and that will really help with muscular endurance. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm also nervous because what if it's so busy? Oh my god. I can't keep doing this to myself. I work myself up thinking it's somewhere is going to be busy and I, it ends up just freaking me out. So then I, I just never end up doing it. But you know what? I'm tired of that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go. Um... <laughs> Fabletics, Fabletics, um, Memphis, Tennessee, Coles. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to the gym. Hello everyone. I just woke up from a nap, so uh, I look weird. But. <laughs> Um, happy gradu early graduation to me. Thank you to my grandparents. May they rest in peace. But uh, before they, well, after they passed away, they left um, very kindly some money for their grandchildren. And so for my graduation, I've been saving it this whole time. I thought I would treat myself. Um, I'm very excited to graduate. <laughs> but if you can't tell, but I decided to treat myself to an uh, inflatable paddle board. So that's right there. Um, so thank you to my grandparents. Um, I know that they would have, if they were here, they would have really loved to have been able to do something like that for me. So we're going to unbox it. I'm so excited.
it's like 8 o'clock at night, but it was exciting to unbox it with you guys and share this memory. Um, and I'm excited to share the memories I make with the board. So, and I'll show you guys when I have it all set up and ready to go. <laughs> but yes, I'm very excited to get out and get going. I'm sick of being in the house. I'm so excited for spring and summer and being outside and having fun. Anyway. <laughs> so, in um, the theme of fitness, which is the theme of this channel, <laughs> Um, so, I have this, this thing happens to me every time, I'm like, okay, let me start from the beginning. <laughs> so, the other day, I was watching Vanderpump Rules, right? And I was really bored. It was Friday of last week. This is a significant day in my life, let me tell you. But, um, I was watching Vanderpump Rules, it was crazy, I'm on season three, I love it. But, um... And, um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, I was, like, really bored. And so I tried to go biking on my bike. And I was so excited. Because I just needed to get out of the house and just, like, be outside. Like, have you ever had that feeling? I know people out there have had this feeling where you just feel, like, trapped. Especially after being in here all winter. It was, like, I think it was, like, the a really nice day, even. And I was like, you know what? Forget it. <laughs> I'm going outside. Well... My freaking bike um, tires are flat, and we have no bike pump. So I was like, well, great. So that bummed me out. So I was like, you know, maybe I should try to go running again. I haven't gone running in a long time. Like I said, I like the high, but the act of running, sometimes it can be too much. <laughs> um, so, and then it's been like a really long time. But um, I thought, okay, screw it. It was nighttime at this point. I was like, this is gonna be fun, even if I just run for like a little bit and then walk the rest of the way, it'll still be nice to get out and have fun. Well, lo and behold, I ran for us, ran, and I literally ran a whole mile down to um, the end of our neighborhood and then back. And I like literally ran, I didn't even stop. It was crazy. I felt like a new person. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. And, I just felt so, I felt good. This sounds so corny, but it's true. I felt good. I felt really good. I felt really happy, really confident. Um, like when I'm doing ballet, just that feeling of like happiness and thriving and just like explosive energy. I don't know. And so I was like, oh, I kind of like this a lot. So yeah, I'm trying to incorporate um, being a consistent first i'm going to start with consistency when it comes to running about three times a week keeping it simp seeing how it feels doing that and then go from there it gave me that feeling that i was looking for so i'm latching on with <laughs> um but anyway so i was on amazon and i was like well let me just look I do this every time and then I buy every time it's like it's like calling to me they're like look look at all this and then like literally these shoes were the last ones in my size on sale hello and this baby pink color you can't tell me they didn't want me to buy this <laughs> come on so I got them they are the fresh foam because the last time I was running consistently which was like literally last year for like a month <laughs> so we'll see how long this lasts but I mean I would like to make it a habit and it's all about you know trying but um which I have no problem with just being consistent you know anyway when I was running the last time um my shoes I think it was my shoes but they were fucking my knees up. I got runner's knee and it hurt and I like couldn't really do my, like I couldn't even squat or anything for like, I think it was like a week because it just hurt so bad in my knees. Um, so I figured in order to avoid that, it's better to be safe than sorry and to find something with more cushion, um, especially if I'm running on pavement. Um, 
and I do other exercises throughout the week that involve my knees. So I would like to keep them from not, I would like to keep myself from falling apart. <laughs> but yeah, we're in my running era. <laughs> we'll see how long this lasts, like I said, but I want it to be consistent. And I will make it consistent. It's all about the effort that you put in. You know, you can say you want something so much, like the vision boards, but you actually have to put time and energy into it, which I got this. I know I do. And I have cute shoes to motivate me. And actually, I'm probably going to run tonight because I've been thinking about it a lot. Like, um, I'm excited. Like, I look forward to it. dancing class and there just so happens to be a pool involved so <laughs> I'm nervous and excited um anxious I'm ready to have fun I know it's gonna be fun it's just always like the anxiety of like going somewhere new but whatever nothing I'm not used to but I am pumped it's gonna be so much fun I will let you guys know how it goes if I can like get a little bit of footage in there I might try to at least like show you what it looks like inside maybe Yeah, more like 30 minutes early, but that's okay. I'd rather be early than late because if it's like, if I'm late, sometimes I don't even want, want to walk in because it's just so embarrassing. <laughs> but um, parking went okay. There's a parking garage near the fitness studio. I'm a little scared because I didn't see a sign where it, like the sign for the... For the dance studio like the name of it i didn't see that so i just saw buildings but i think it's inside one of the buildings it's okay we got this we made it this far um but yeah so i was driving and i saw this parking garage and i was like as i was passing it i was like oh shit i should have went in there <laughs> and so um, please forgive me, <laughs> but I stopped. There's a car behind me. The light was turning red ahead of me, so I stopped. Turn. <laughs> I made a huge turn. <laughs> the car behind me just went around me and left, and I just like, whoop. It's okay. No cars were coming from that way, and the only car that was coming from like behind me was that one car. And they knew I was stopping because I was going slow as fuck. So they like went around me and then like turned. And we were good. We made it. We're good. <laughs> um, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. But yeah, I'm nervous, excited, all of it. A little sweaty. Be like that sometimes. But a new adventure is always fun. 
All right, I'm going to chill until it's time to go, and then we'll go. Maybe I'll film myself walking so it's like safer, so like if someone tries to take me, that'll be on tape. <laughs> and then if they ever find my phone, they will see what happened to me that I was taken on tape. So if I, anything happens and you find this and I was missing, something happened to me. <laughs> I really hope that's not true. Now I'm freaking myself out. I'm gonna go.